Welcome back to Mario Galaxy! Oh yeah. We're gonna finish off the Gold Leaf Galaxy. Yes. The nice Maple Leaf Paradise. I wouldn't call it a paradise, it's not the bugs and piranha plants. Well, yeah. We're gonna eradicate them pretty fast though. Can you imagine living in a world where there's just piranha plants? <laughs> Like, it's bad enough that we have piranhas, but then piranha plants just oh, it's like a Venus flytrap. Yeah, but It'll piranha plants are everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, these are worse than Venus flytraps, because those aren't actually things that can actively <laughs> try to kill you. These ones, like, lunge at you, and they're, like, bigger than you. Yeah. But imagine you had star bits and money just everywhere. Well, it's not real money, though. Coins, I mean. It's health. Star, star bits are, but only in space. Yep, in this part of the thing, it's rainy now. Remember, rain will kill ya. Like Does that, it? that coin, oh, yeah. that coin just turned into a one-up. They could have just had a one-up there, but nope, it drops a one-up directly on your head instead. Coins, oh, yes. coins, Jeez. coins! I thought you were gonna kill yourself there. I'm like, what are you doing down down there? Well, there was a coin there clearly. Oh, one of these random places. Yep, hasn't been one of these in a long time. No, yeah, they haven't actually. I wonder what's gonna happen. Hmm. I can get a one-up mushroom. No, oh, okay, that's that works too, I guess. It's <laughs> kind of different. Well, it's just our bits. Not that many, really. There is a one-up. Yes, just like we always dreamed. We didn't have enough one-ups. Yeah, we're near 99 at this point. Yeah, it's too few. We need, like, 9,000 at least. They did make it so that in um, Sonic 4 and stuff, you could actually get 999 lives. <laughs> and Sleepy Bee. Oh, the bees are back. But he is exhausted. And... Oh, I almost skipped some stuff, but I didn't. What happened oh, the there? The camera was weird. Yeah, you seem to almost skip some stuff, or do skip some stuff quite often in this game. Yeah, it may not be non-linear or anything, but there are still things you can do. You can still, like, find your ways around blocking things and stuff like that. It's just, was this even up here last time? I don't remember this puzzle area. It's new. It's the observatory. Ah. Apparently it's the pride of their galaxy, and yet it just appeared now. <laughs> <laughs> I just finished being built. Yep, there's clouds everywhere, and they'll turn you into regular Mario. You don't want that, so... Go around it. Apparently getting your feet wet doesn't do anything. Good. Well that makes sense though, because Mario can just jump on anything and kill it. It's got very strong feet. But yeah, you gotta use these clouds to your advantage. No. Or not. Darn pesky little water puddles. Puzzles. And puddles, I guess. I don't like when they have puzzles like this for some reason. Well, Mario isn't really well designed for puzzles in my opinion. That's more of a Zelda type thing. Zelda does a lot of puzzles? Yeah, that's the main thing. Like, you go to dungeons and solve puzzles. Oh. Or you just skip around like that? Or are we supposed to? I mm -hmm. It doesn't really matter though. These levels do get a touch less linear later on. Like, at this point, there's lots of ways you can solve a problem. And the boss time. And it spreads water. And it's a mole. It is, like, the least effectual boss ever. It only shoots water. What's it going to do? <laughs> it can make you lose your bee power up, but the bee power up isn't necessary. It only makes the boss easier. <laughs> As you can see. Yeah, this thing is... But yeah, it starts going rapid fire. And once you lose the B power up, you can't get it back. 
So what do you do? You press a switch. But yeah, all the bubble will do is carry you. So yeah. And there's gates everywhere. Yeah. If there weren't gates, this would actually be a tough fight. <laughs> yeah, and you finished him off pretty much completely with the beast suit for the first two hits at least. Yep. At this point, it's going rapid fire, so it's a bit tougher, but yeah. Not much of a tough challenge here. And then he just explodes. <laughs> it seems to always happen in this game. Like that one rock galaxy. You left it, <laughs> just blew up. And speaking of blowing up, we just got a star. So yay! Fifteen to go. Something like that. Fifteen to sixty, which I learnt now what that meant. <laughs> oh, thirteen to go. There's we've gotten several other stars since. <laughs> oh yeah, that was a while ago. <laughs> well, you know what they say. No, what do they say? I don't know. They say it's the year 2002. Oh, that explains why I don't know what to put this game. <laughs> it doesn't come out yet. It hasn't been revealed. Sea Slide Galaxy. Oh, is there going to be some races on water? Maybe. But you know what else will there be? Penguins? Yep, and? Bees? Yep, and? Is, wait, is this the awesome place you're talking about? Yep, you're going to love this place. Yes. It's tropical. Oh, tropics. There's penguins. There's bees. And there's a whale. It's a shark, I'm pretty sure. A shark. A creepy looking shark. <laughs> you were so excited, like, oh, it's a whale! Shark. Mm, creepy looking shark. Are you going to kill the shark? No, it's your friend. Oh. You, right. you fight him in pitch combat. <laughs> that's what friends do, generally. Yeah, that's what we do. Yeah. In fact, speaking of which, after we're finished recording this, what weapon do you want? Um, I'll take a machete. I'm going go with the classics. Yeah. Actually, I hate knives. I'm gonna take a gun. End it quick. End it quick? Come on, everyone knows you can't beat me. <laughs> what an idiot, this guy. Look at him. So cocky, too. You know what he looks like? Reggie feels a me. <laughs> he does, actually. <laughs> uh, Reggie. I bet that's probably what they're based on. That's what I'm going with. <laughs> The shark thing is the president of Nintendo USA. We need a design for the shark. Let's make him based on a person. We just no one else is based on a person, but let's make him based on one. There's plenty of characters that are based on people. Oh Mario, and it's like yeah. You can't what? say like <laughs> what? But, well, okay, yeah, other than like <laughs> I mean for like things like the bees, the penguins, the goombas, they're not obviously based on people. So this isn't a real race, by the way. You just have to go through the rings. You don't have to actually beat him. Yeah, he looks like he's pretty hard to catch up to. Yeah, how do you know which path to take? By following him. Ah, he tricked you. How? I don't see a checkpoint. What? Oh, it doesn't matter which path you take. I thought one side would have a checkpoint and you'd die if you didn't go on that side or something. Or you'd have to go all the way around again. Okay. There's a lot of red shells around here, like they really expect you to be crashing a lot, I guess. Yeah, just safety mechanism. I win! <laughs> oh that was so weird. He just <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> No, I've been beat. <laughs> Freezes. And gives you a star. That was really fast. Oh and look, he he just sends you flying if you even nudge him. Landwalker. He gave you the whole the whole sea. Yep. You you went through checkpoints. You didn't even race him, and he gives you the entire sea and a yep. star. And it was like a one minute race. It wasn't even a race. A one minute event. <laughs> I'm going there. Could use a tropical beach. Yes, but it's a sea slide. Yeah. Huh. Apps plus sea slide. Yes, coming soon. <laughs> 2020. To beat you now. Does this junk bot thing in here do anything other than just warn you about the fact that this is gonna get harder? Do NPCs in Mario games ever do anything? 
but it seems like it'd be more important because he's, he's the only one that's actually in one of these rooms. Yeah, it's the final dome, though. Yeah, but he doesn't do anything. He doesn't even tell you stuff. He warns you that it's going to get difficult. And the Luma could have done that. Yeah, but that's and not it, very interesting. I thought the junk bots were on the other, like... They're on lots of planets. Why would no, they be on, here? No, I mean on Bowser's side. Why would... Why would they be on Bowser's side? Because there's this one challenge where you have to deal with a junk bot and he's got an attitude and I don't know. Oh, okay, so clearly it must be Bowser's minion then. <laughs> it looks like it too. And what, you think just because one of them is mean, all of them must be evil? That's so That's racist. That's how all the other ones work in this game. What about the fact that Goombas and Toads are the same thing? <laughs> okay, well, that's a technicality. Well, Cataquacks, they're neutral. That's true. What about the shark thing? That's just a freak. Yes, yeah, so there's boost pads under here, too, because this is a real race. Uh, do we get to race him this time? No. Oh, we're racing this guy? No. We're racing a different penguin. We're racing several penguins! Oh, jeez, lots of them. Go! So you might have noticed that you're not all that fast compared to these penguins. Yeah, you're like screwed, but does the thing make- But then this! And now you're faster than all of them put together. <laughs> Cheating, it's how you win. Yeah. That's what I learned. I watched a Simpsons episode the other day and then had some Russians in it, and they told us that cheating's how you do it, so. Do what? Achieve things in life. Ah. Succeed, advance in the world. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, those steam things don't look like it, but they will actually hurt you and take away your shells, so yeah. Mm. Yeah, already in first. Jeez. Do you just do one lap? Yep. No, I don't. didn't see any boosters. There's only like one. There it oh, is. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I guess it just gives you a little bit of help at the end if you yeah, need it. Yeah, if you need it. There's oh, another one. one. Right at the end. Mm hmm. I wish there was a little map to show you how far back the other ones are. Or something. I have no idea. Yay, win! Another gold medal. And it's a star. What, what a surprise. It must be the only source of gold in the universe or something. <laughs> they mine these out of the ground like this? Yes. Oh, no, they're Lumas. Remember? Ah, Lumas are everything. Mm-hmm. And everything's a Luma. Except for people. Yep. But really, they've got Lumas in their hats, so they're basically Lumas. Yes. Everyone knows it's really the Lumas that are calling the shots. Yeah, <laughs> yep. Just like dolphins in our world. Yep, and speaking of dolphins, see you next part. Adios.